So for the last week I've been giving a hand in structure one, helping them to dismantle wall 1020. Lucy and I have been working towards the east end, um, and today is the day in fact that we're going to be taking the foundation stones out of the very first course of walling and just having a look at what's underneath. And we're just going to continue to take this course out, expose and clean up the, the wall core a little bit, and then start taking the next level down which is going to be including this chap here, which my trowel is just sat on top of at the moment. And already in the sun, I must admit, having looked at this just for the first time in a couple of days now, really quite closely, there are a few suspicious marks that make me think that once this is cleaned up, there may possibly be something interesting. And that's of course discounting the sides and the underside of it as well, so I'll have to see. But this wall is coming down and you can see the height difference here already in the last couple of weeks that we really have taken a fair whack off it, which is great. And Georgie and Mark on the other side as well. It's fantastic now that we've come down onto a really thick patch of white clay which appears to be a foundational deposit. And look at these three large stones here which appear to be the very first course. And they're so substantial. And firstly they're going to be a, a real task to lift. They have to come out and hopefully we'll get around to that later today. And as they are so large and substantial, and they form, as I say, that very bottom course. It's um, not inconceivable at all, really, that we could be expecting some kind of incised marks and decorations and things like that. So I'm just going to clean this area up now and see if we can access them a little bit later on. So by removing this wall, we're going to be able to access the floor deposits which are underneath and of course also see structure one in its original first phase. This wall was an intersecting addition which reduced the internal space from a double cruciform to a single cruciform interior shape. Get the slippy bits off us. So how do you, well yeah, why don't we do this? Access is probably going to be straight across yeah. the, over the top. You're gonna, now are you going to be right going backwards or you want, do you want to kind of like... I'll, um, I'll grab it and go forwards with it. Yeah. Sounds good to me. So as per usual with incised stone, you may not be able to pick this up, but hopefully you can see at some kind of angle that we've got some intersecting lines just here. And this stone looks like it has been substantially weathered. And some of these lines, as I say, just kind of tail off and disappear. There's a slight curvature of the stone which doesn't allow them to remain as, as perhaps deeply grooved as, as they are higher up. And it looks like there may be some pecking and um, forming sort of a, a continuation of the pattern as well. Can I just ask you, Andy, how much um, how much there is to do left on this section? Because it's we're down to the the bottom course has been removed. So is yeah. it just a case of leveling and clearing, and then? Literally, I think just this guy back guy, that guy, and then we'll just clean it. I know there's a slab under there, but it's under the clay now, so I think it might be associated with something else rather than a wall. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> so kind of getting ready to move on to the next section, which is going to be this one here, isn't it? The next bit along from. Is that right? Yeah. The, after this, we've just done this first section, and the next step is to go straight back to that other orthostat. So we're hoping to get a really clean section, and we should okay. do because with the builds, we're actually seeing that there is a split up through the courses, so it should be quite clean. Yeah. As opposed to this guy where we've had courses over overlapping, and we're trying to get this section out. So unfortunately, the condition of some of these stones were a little bit deteriorated. Um, we've just got these decorated stone sheets just to show you um, very briefly some of the different varieties of incisions. It is interesting that all three of those large stones actually were all decorated. And there's various patterns on there that we've seen before, motifs that we recognise and things. So we'll keep an eye out for more as we go along and start taking the next section. And hopefully we'll have some nice examples to bring you in future. <laughs> 